Hello you all, you already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these reads and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Um, there's a, this is a song that keep replaying in the same part, keep playing in my, uh, in my mind. It's the song by, uh, Keisha Cole. It's Keisha Cole featuring Monica Trust. And the part that keep playing is, I know you've seen a lot of things in your life, got you feeling like this can't be right, but I won't hurt you. I'm down for you, baby. That's the part to keep playing. So we're going to see what this download is about. Go check out that song if you would like to. Um, Keisha Cole featuring Monica Trust. What would our Elohim like us to know about this? We got the Five of Cups. Okay, so you could have been sad, let down a lot. You know, feeling at a loss. And then we got the Knave of Pentacles to the Knight of Wands. The things that you went through, you had to gain a, a, a greater understanding. You could have been curious and player energies could have piqued your interest, like Knight of Wands energies. But it was something within you that had to heal here with the Six of Swords. This was guided. You gain a greater understanding from the things that you have endured and the things that you have went through keep that love up for the for the new you know unknown keeps the desire alive you could have been interested in people that wonder a lot People that were a mystery to you. People that, you know, like passion and people that like to take, you know, fast action, in and out energy. And this had to do with a wound of yours. This is something that you had to, you know, heal from and gain an understanding in. Um, the song that just ran across my mind is Tony Jones. F-Boys are tools of enlightenment. And if you have masculine energy, you know, just take the, the boys out. And when she talking about boys, put in girls. But listen to Tony Jones. F boys are tools of enlightenment. You gain a greater understanding through the heartbreak and the loss. So it's really not a loss, it's lessons, gains.
There is um, someone that looks at you as wish fulfillment. There's somebody who's manifesting you or you could even be manifesting what's better for you. Something that'd be like a dream come true. Whatever this is, is coming in fast. With the eight of wands, somebody is infatuated with you and wants an opportunity with you. But being that you've been through what you've been through, you could be guarded. You could try to fight it off. You could fight off having this four of wands energy. You can fight off being with somebody or being in a commitment because of the things that you have endured and the things that you have seen. Which that song, like them lyrics, they kept playing over and over. It makes sense. You could be single. We got the King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a King of Pentacles that... Could want something with you, want to build something with you. It may surprise you. That somebody could want to it may surprise you that somebody could want to show you different. Like this person is saying they ain't gonna hurt you. This person could have been hurt before. <laughs> what I'm what just ran across my mind is I'm grown out here. He just showed up as the emperor. Like this person wanna show you that they serious. Showing up as the the king of pentacles to the emperor. Like they really wanna make that that commitment and they like leveling up. Like they wanna rise to that occasion and horn hunt confirmation like they want to be that provider and it's not just financially it's like emotionally too and then with the four of wands spiritually and then they showing you that they serious like they in their authority and this, you know, they have uh, more control over, you know, this type of energy. They could have been in this energy before in their life, but they got more control over this kind of energy. Oh, really? How's she doing, baby? Yeah, because... Uh, No. Oh. This man could have um, had a lot of options in the past with the Six of Cups, had a lot of options. But this person um, is moving forward from that. You know, the state of confusion, the having a lot of options. This is something that this person is healing within them.
This could be somebody from your past. Don't have to be. It could even be somebody um, from a past life. This person has been learning new things and they're putting that to use within themselves. In the past, maybe this person didn't follow their heart. They just, you know, went with their mind. With the King of Swords energy. Which led to them, you know, foolish behavior. This person was careless in the past. Could have, um, and even if you didn't know this person in the past, this is just who this person was. But they have grown and they're looking at, you know, the possibilities for themselves in their life and the possibilities that they see is this four of wands energy having commitment being being more for themselves as well as for a partner This could be um, this could be any energy for real. This could be a man for a man, a a man for a woman, a woman for a woman. But somebody is somebody wants to let you know that they're down for you. They don't want to hurt you. They know you've been through a lot in your past To surrender that energy, that foolish, careless energy, the the superficial, the being unawakened to, you know, their actions and how they make others feel, um, being up in their head a lot. They want to surrender that energy. This person could have been slow to, to change, you know. They could have been holding on to who they were. But this person has decided to balance things out and be purified and get the healing that they need. This person made a decision. This person is looking more towards their their future and and making that change versus holding on to who they once were. It's been a battle, but this person has persevered through that battle with the Nine of Wands. And this person wants to give to you. This person feels spiritually guided towards you.
this person feels spiritually guided towards you like to walk away from the old them towards their truth and happiness which they find in you empress but you can fear you could be protecting yourself and you could be fear from the you you can uh, be in fear and you could have some fear and you could protect yourself because of the things that you have endured You know, being in that uh, Queen of Cups energy. But you, by you healing to whatever you've been doing to heal, you have been, as you've been healing, you've been manifesting something different. And you've been manifesting this Ten of Cups with the Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles. You've been maybe even unknowingly manifesting a higher form of commitment. Justice, peace, love, joy, commitment, a higher form of commitment, getting justice and support in your life. And this could be rescue from the heartbreak and the hurt that you have suffered with the people that you have celebrated with, with the three of, um, with the three of cups. This is why your guard is up from the people that you have celebrated with, that you had to heal from. With the seven of wands to the star. But this is the end of that cycle of you dealing with these type of individuals. You have learned the lessons that you needed to learn and completed the cycles that you needed to complete. So things are clearing up for you. And something is unexpected. Some unexpected. What I say, you ain't going to expect this or it may surprise you because... Something unexpected is coming your way here, and you don't see it coming with the Two of Swords. And you have to be mindful of how you move, because you might block off your soulmate from making an offer towards you. And it's something that you have manifested within yourself by doing the healing. So... Yeah, something is coming in towards you fast, Divine Feminine. Somebody is infatuated with you. That, uh, what just, um, ran across my mind is this other song. Hold on. I gotta Google it. <laughs> Give me a second. Monica, a dozen roses. You can listen to a Monica, Monica, a dozen roses, but somebody want to communicate with you. Hmm. 
Yeah. Listen to you. You are connected to a higher power. Follow your intuition. Your intuition. If something is pulling you and you with this uh with this knave of cups, if something is pulling you to, you know, new desires, follow that. Follow is within you. Listen to your new desires with the peace of mind. And we have plans building new pathways here. So it's, it's nurturing new. This would be new for you. This direction. It will bring. It will be successful. This is a, a, a divine opportunity. With the Ace of Cups. If you fight it off, you might end up disappointing, disappointed, and you may miss an opportunity. And you may regret it. The devil doesn't have that strong hold on you you have your sword with this queen of swords you got your sword of of truth use it the sun this is about trust too as well this is about you trusting and trusting your healing and know that the divine won't let you down or leave you at a dead end after bringing you up with the sun energy Know that the divine will be with you and won't leave you at no dead end. So this is about trusting your inner guide too as well. Not even another, you know, another partner or another situation. The divine is not going to hurt you and leave you at a dead end or lie to you. If the divine saying that there's new energy coming and you're getting a new beginning and that's what it is. You've been getting these downloads with this three of pentacles. You could feel like, you know, you just waiting for the ball to drop. You know, what's hidden? What's the secret? What's coming at me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you being in this five of pentacles energy, but this is not what it's going to be. Yeah, you've been deceived a lot. People could have went against you, left you out in the cold and abandoned you. But this is not, and it's not just coming from like lovers, but this is not that. I'm telling you, this is transforming that worry. That that worry has to change. That has to die with the death because you're coming into new and you're going to, you know, have a victory in a new life in a solid foundation. Somebody is coming towards you that's good for your well-being and that sees you as wish fulfillment, that loves you, that wants to partner up with you, move ahead with you, juggle life with you. This person could be manifesting you. Through their healing. This is something that's going to be whole and something that you can trust. Ace of Cups to the Ace of Swords. New. Breakthrough. Enlightenment. Don't sacrifice it. It's divine. 
Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. To the hangman. This don't belong in here, but we have extra triggered. Have faith. Have faith. You could be extra triggered by, you could have triggers from the past and from the things that you have uh, dealt with, but have faith. You have exciting news coming. So let's see. We have family and friends. The support of family and friends may help strengthen this connection. Yeah, we have make a move. The time is now. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move. But somebody is planning on taking action towards you and making a move towards you. You could be annoyed because of the things that you have been through with the annoyance here. But somebody, you you are attracting whatever this is. You are manifesting your match, law of attraction. You don't have to move super fast. You can take things slow. Build, you know, get to know each other, fill each other out. Yeah, safe place. There's nothing like being able to let your guard down. And know that you are protected by your partner's love. Y'all have magnetic souls. Your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. Final shot. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you'll always wonder what if. Divine union. Falling in love right under that. Forgive and heal. Life partner. Love at first sight. Very soon. There could be some type of clarity coming in about a third party here. But we also have security. What is yours? Will always be yours. Yeah, spiritual awakening. There's something profound about uh, the connection that you have with this person. Yeah, we have harvest. Yeah, you planted this seed with your healing and your spiritual awakening. So due to your patience and growth, you're able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Music could be... Um, Significant, sweet song. Telepathic messages. Y'all can telepathically communicate to each other. And share emotions. Or even through music, say y'all are together. Uh, music could be, you know, a vibe for you too. You can have memories with music here. Somebody could be taking a stroll down memory lane. We have best part. If life were a move, if life were a movie, being with each other would be the best part. You both bring out the better parts of each other. 
Listen and reflect. Falling in love and building a future. New chapter in laughter. So this is about, you know, looking into those inner fears that you have and working those out. Taking a leap of faith. Have faith. Divine timing. Yeah, some type of gift or offer is coming in here. Gifts and offers. Yeah, this 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 could be a partner in crime or be careful of sharing, you know, news and things of that nature with certain people because they can try to cause confusion to your situation. You know, listen to yourself. Self love. Listen to yourself and follow the guidance of the divine. This is somebody that you could have ended something with in here. And here comes a a beginning. Yeah, you ended this cycle here and you were free and loving yourself. I know sometimes you want to tell your, you know, your homegirl or your homeboy, your partner in crime, you know, what's going on, do, do, do. but sometimes you have to keep certain things, you know, to yourself and discuss it with the divine because sometimes other people's opinions can be, bring confusion to the situation. wisdom be wise with whatever this is yeah because somebody could have somebody in blind spot be wise yeah be wise and reflect this is something that you need to go within about yep yeah because we got soulmate gossip there could be gossip about this connection here. Soulmate, twin flame. Yeah, just focus on the newness. We got fertility here. So focus on the, the birth of, you know, something new. Just like how it takes time for a, a baby to grow in a mother's womb, you know, focus. And don't let the karmic cycles that you have endured dominate and domi have dominance over your life and your judgment. Don't let that, don't let the karmic cycles and the karmic lessons that you had to learn rule over your decisions and choices to stop you from having more. So this is also about forgiveness. So... You just got some things to reflect on, look into. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Somebody could be a laid back female. Shy. This could have been you in the past. But then we have true gem. You're a true true gem. Very valuable. People could have been gossiping about you a lot in the past here. Yeah, 
you had a toxic story with your twin flame here, with your twin flame or soulmate. This was karmic here. But this toxic story and the things that you have went through with this karmic situation got you into spiritual alignment here. You could have had fun times with this person in your home. We have friendship, destiny, true love. You could have had some type of fun times with this individual in your home. Yeah, destiny. Something is meant to be true love at the bottom. A pure love. A honest connection. What else I was going? Okay, I'll pull some um, some music, and then I was looking to see what I did with the signs. Let me pull some signs. We got Rick James, cold blooded. Somebody think that you're sexy. They think you hot. You can listen to Rick James, cold blooded. Cleo soul when I'm in your arms. Somebody ain't playing by the rules. Somebody feel like can't take me for no food. Somebody don't want you going nowhere. Don't waste time. So tell me where you keep me safe. Give me some lyrics within the song. We have Al Green, Simply Beautiful. Somebody think you're very beautiful or handsome. They feel like there's a whole lot of things that they can do. They expect a lot of love out of you. If they gave you their love, they'd tell you what they do. Gotta be good to me and I'm gonna be good to you. Michael Jackson, lady in my life. Y'all love will shine. Reach out to a fantasy. Two hearts in the beat of ecstasy. Come to me. There be no darkness tonight. Stay with me. Listen to my heart. Kim, heaven. And then we have Evelyn Champagne King, Love Come Down. And then we have Music Soul Child, Teach Me. And then bottom of the deck, Ro James Permission. Those songs can have an extra message in there for you. Now these signs can be... Yep, we have boundaries, too. You know, keep your values, too. You know, healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries. Y'all sun sign, y'all Venus placement, or y'all north node, or moon, sun, moon, Venus, north node. Y'all got them signs in these these signs in these placements in y'all chart. Sun, moon, Venus. North Node. 
Sun, Moon, Venus, North Node. So we have here Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, Leo, Aries. Honorable mention, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, Sag, Gemini, Leo, Aries. Honorable mention, Scorpio. Y'all have one of these placements, these signs. In your sun, moon, Venus, north node. And we're going to go ahead and pull a grateful heart message. Because it's always something to be grateful for. It's 555. It's some type of change coming. So we have here, my heart is confident in you, O Yahweh. No wonder I can sing your praises with all my heart. As for Yahweh, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Yahweh keeps an eye on his friends. And his ears pick up every moan and groan. Let your unfailing love surround us, Yahshua, for our hope is in you alone. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. I will praise Yahweh's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. Give thanks to Yahweh and proclaim his greatness. Let the world know what he has done. So I hope you all got a message from this read that will be able to help you along your journey know that Yahweh loves you please like share and subscribe and I will see you all later peace